Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022. As we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter run with Newcastle United. And today we're playing FC Bayern in the Champions League. And leading up to that, we got three new starters out of the January transfer window. And Luca might be our fourth place striker. Let's get into the episode. All right, before we get into the transfer stuff, let's look at the craziness that was <laughs> all the stuff that we've done over the last couple of months. Um, last game you guys saw was the game against Milan. Uh, we then went, we'll go through this quickly. We went and beat Mil uh, Man City 4-1 to one with a hat trick from Luka and a goal from Isak. Uh, we then beat Chelsea 5-3 to three with a pair of goals from Iglesias, a pair of goals from Luka, and a goal from Palmer. Uh, we then got past the quarterfinal of the Bir Birmingham uh, with a hat trick from Sancho, a goal from Steven, uh, Stevanovic, and a goal from Iglesias. I tried to lose this game, guys. I tried to put in some some backups and stuff like that. Just wasn't having it. Uh, we then beat Burnley four to nothing with the pair of goals from Isak and a goal from Stevanovic and a goal from Vit Vitina v v Vitna. There we go, something like that. Uh, we went, beat Sheffield United five to nothing with a pair of goals from Sancho, a goal from Phillips, a goal from Lenardi, and a. Uh, own goal from one of their players. There we go. I was going to say, where's the first fifth goal? Uh, we then beat Southampton 4-1 to one with a pair of goals from Palmer, a goal from Isak, and a goal from Vieira. Uh, we then beat Man City in the first leg of the Carabao semifinals with five goals from Luca. Did I say he was fourth place striker? We'll get into that. Uh, and then a goal from Palmer. Uh, we then got past the FA Cup third round with a uh, goal from Livermento, a goal from Sancho, and a goal from Luca in uh, that game against Brighton there. Uh, we then went up against Man City in the second leg, beat them 4-1, to one, so 10-4 to four on aggregate, uh, with a pair of goals from Luca, a goal from Gerard. Who's Gerard? And a goal from Isak. I should probably go ahead and go look at the transfer draft. I just realized we're into January now. Um, we'll come back to this. Carabao Cup, semifinal second leg. We'll cover the rest in just a moment. Uh, so, for transfers... Let's go look at the transfers. And let me get my head out of the way here. Um, so a couple things happened. We, I just gambled and I asked the board day one. We had zero money, zero dollars in the transfer budget. And I was like, hey, why don't you give me a little bit of transfer money? And at first they argued. Then I was like, but hey, we're going to be left behind all the other people. And they're like, oh, you're right. And so they gave me 40 million pounds. Then I sold to V for 40 million pounds. Because he was basically a backup. And I was like, let's get something for him. And I had some other backup central defenders that I could was like, you know what? We can pull those guys in. They could basically do the same thing to Vive can. And plus, I could have pring brought somebody back from loan, things like that. And then we got an offer for Palmer. 80 million pounds for Man United. Now, this might have been a bad move. I don't know. Because as you can see, leading up to this, Palmer had a few goals. Because we were playing him as a substitute. But he was a substitute. $80 million for a guy that sits on the bench most of the time and only comes in as a sub. I couldn't pass it up. And to be fair, we had only paid $81 million for him up until this point. So basically, we broke even on Palmer. Now, not that he was bad. He was great. I was glad to have Palmer. We just weren't using him right now. And it was worth $80 million bucks to us. So by doing that, uh, and then we loaned out Morales again. He actually came back off of a loan and we loaned him back out again. Uh, right back to middle. I don't know why he came back, actually. Something weird happened there. Uh, I think the my coach has said, suggested bringing him back. And then when we brought him back, we weren't going to use him after all. And we just loaned him right back again. So whatever. I think we actually lost some money there. And then we actually ended up selling Treor as well for 18.5. But anyway, so those are all the sales. I'll put my face back on here. Um, as you, you've probably already seen it, right? There's a big old honking transfer here. We'll get to that. That's Gerard. You already saw him score a goal. First, we brought, it, brought in Ibanez here from Roma. Brought him in for 25 mil, going up to 30 mil. He's actually the Daviv replacement, except for one thing. He is 32 years old. He's a little older, but he's got experience, obviously. Um, he's got 45 caps, two goals for Brazil. Um, he actually is good enough to be a starter. He's our second best central defender now. So we traded Daviv, who was a backup, for a guy that was cheaper than him and as a starter. And we only need him to last this season, to be honest, because we're only going to be here for this season. So not bad. 
Uh, we're going to skip ahead to Mount. We'll come back to Gerard in just a second. Mount comes in here as just uh, uh, when we sold Treor, who was a central uh, midfielder. I was like, well, let's just go get a somebody, right? Let's go get a somebody who's flexible, who's the best player we can get for about 50 mil, because uh, that's about how much we had left over. And Mount comes in here. He can play as a tag midfielder or a midfielder. He's 30 years old as well, a bit older, but again, experience. 102 caps, 36 goals for England. Not bad. And he comes in as arguably our best midfielder. So there's uh, uh, starter number two. And if we go look at the big one, Gerard here. Now, the reason it's 103 mil is because that was his release clause. He comes in here, could play on the right apparently, but he comes in as our striker. Possibly one of our best, if not best strikers. Four star current ability, could go as has five star. Wonder Kid, we've got two Wonder Kids now that are exceptionally good right now. And he's already come in here. He's had seven appearances, a couple of goals. Although we haven't been playing him a whole ton because we've been playing a lot of lower level teams and I've been trying to just rest a bunch of people and not, not get anybody injured at all. But he comes in here already making a little bit of an impact. 7.24 for Bundesliga and Earth for Hertha Berlin last year. 7.2 the season before that. So we know he can play and he's already proven that a bit. So if we go look at our squad right now, Gerard is in there alongside Isak and Luca. But here's the other big thing. O'Neal has bumped himself up to three and a half, almost four stars. He's arguably could potentially be better than Luca already, which is why I say Luca could be our fourth. Now we're going to be playing Luca because he's tall and he fills a specific role. He fills that uh, corner kick header role and he's obviously good enough. But uh, O'Neal Murphy, I should say, is not that far behind. I mean, he's got decent jumping reach, really good heading. He could potentially play that. He's just not as tall. So I'm going to play Luca in that spot. But O'Neill Murphy comes in here as a excellent backup option because he's obviously very good as well. And then we've got Mount down here as a midfielder. And then we've got Ibanez down here as a central defender. And th there's our team, guys. We've got three brand new starters out of the January transfer window, something I did not expect to happen at all. Let's get back to the schedule. As you can see, Crystal Palace, we beat them 3-2 to two with a pair of goals from O'Neill Murphy and a goal from Stevanovic. Uh, we then went up against Tottenham, beat them three to nothing with a pair of goals from Murphy and a goal from Sancho. We then drew against Everton. Now Everton's a decent team. We should have won this game, and honestly, based on stats, we we won this game. It is what it is. We drew this game. Uh, Luca picking up the early penalty, and then they they got a goal in the second third minute. So drew that game. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We then went up against Wolves, beat them four to nothing with a goal from Luca, Vitina, uh, Vitna, I should say, Ibanez, and Sampson, and then Leeds. We had a 4.5 XG in this game. Just absolutely destroyed them. They had like a 1.2 XG. And they beat us 2-1. to one. We got FM'd, guys. We got FM big time. We get, did, get, did get the goal from Luka, but we got FM'd. Thankfully, we turned that around. Got a win against Fulham. 3 to nothing with a goal from Isak, a goal from Vieira, and a goal from Lenardi. Lenardi coming back from a pretty long injury, thankfully, to have him back. Uh, we then went up against Blackpool. I tried to lose this. I didn't really try to lose this. It's, how can you lose against Blackpool? <laughs> a League One team. But we did get four goals from Gerard in this game. A goal from Samson and a goal from Glacier. So obviously Gerard showing up, making an impact. Uh, it is Blackpool, though, to be fair. Here's the big one, though. We went up against Man United. Played the best players we had. And we were able to get the win here. Uh, they did get an old goal They that, that drew up the game, and then we got the a goal from Gerard at the very very late in the game to get the win against Manchester United, which really makes up for the stomping we took to them 6-0 uh, earlier in the season. Of course, then we had to follow that up with a stomping in the other direction from Arsenal against us. Uh, we did get a goal from the Glacius and a goal from Gerard in this game too, but it just wasn't enough. Not super concerned. We're still in second. We're not, there's really no hope of us getting in first, I don't think. I mean, Man United would have just have to fall apart big time. But there's a decent chance that we can hold on to second if we just play reasonably well throughout the rest of the season. That's honestly really good. I'll accept second. Second's not bad. We're still in the Carabao Cup, as you can see. We're playing in the final of the Carabao Cup against Everton. Uh, we're still in the FA Cup. Yay us. We're playing against QPR. That should be an easy game. We're actually having some pretty easy runs in both the Carabao and the English FA Cup. But all of that to say, 10 minutes into this video... Here's what you're here for, guys. The European Champions game against FC Bayern. Can we do something in this game today? Here is the team we're bringing today. 
We got Conde in goal. We got Lamptey on the left. Sambo on the right. Back from another long injury from here and him as well. Ibanez plays in here in the central defender alongside Levi. Now, arguably, we should be playing Kambola because he's got a good relationship with Levi. But we're going to play Ibanez. He's obviously really, really good. He's been playing well. 7.26, uh, sorry, uh, 7.1 over the last five games. Not bad. He's also training well. So we're going to give him the, the shot here. Iglesias comes in here alongside Mount. Mount hasn't played especially well, but he's been training okay. I'm going to give him another chance today. If not, we can easily bring Kessie in. We can bring, bring Vieira in. We've got a couple guys that can come in here. Sancho's going to get the nod in the attacking midfielder role. Vieira's obviously really, really good. Sancho's been playing really well as well. It's hard to tell between those two guys. Vieira's a little bit slack in the last five games. We're going to give Sancho the nod here. And then, of course, our three strikers are Isak, Gerard, and Luca with uh, O'Neill Murphy able to come in at a moment's notice. Training exceptionally well. This guy is going to become every single bit of what he's worth as a wonder kid, which is great to see. And I think Gerard as well, as well, we, we've spent the bank on some players guys, but I think even though we've spent a lot of money and we're kind of taking a big hit, uh, for Newcastle, we had him in a good place, but then the January transfer went world around and I realized I might be able to do some stuff. And now they're financially not super great. To be honest, 10 mil in the bank right now, nothing in the transfer, a little bit over on the wage budget. It's not going to be good, but They've got some players, guys, that if they decide not to hold on to, they could sell for some ridiculous amount of money down the road. Four ridiculously good strikers that could sell. So we'll see. Hopefully they're in a good spot for that. Maybe we'll buy one of these strikers at our next team. You never know. Um, but there's the team, guys. Let's get into this. I, I'm really hoping. Oh, we need something here, guys. We got to start off with the Big Bang. I mean, this is this is an away game. I mean, even if they beat us, that's okay. As long as we get at least one away goal. Our goal is one away goal and not to lose by more than one goal. That is all we need to have a chance of, of bringing it home and taking care of business at home. Now, they're on a five-game win streak. They're looking really, really strong. Uh, we're on a losing streak, unfortunately. Well, not a losing streak, but we got a loss there. Bookended the losses with three wins in the middle. Not super great momentum coming into this game. But we have a really good team. And I think we have a team that's good enough to win this whole thing. Now, will we? Yeah. Obviously, we we can beat Manchester United, but we can't beat Arsenal or we can't beat Leeds. But um, we'll see. We'll see here. Getting off to a pretty good start already. Three shots. Four shots now. Three on a target. Their goalkeeper is already on a 7.0. He's blocking everything that comes his way so far. 29 degree light snow here. We got a corner kick coming in for FC Bayern. Isak heads that one out. Unfortunately, not able to get on that one. Come on, guys. Highlight is continuing. Oh, oh I thought Gerard was going to get that one. He got in there, but not in... Oh, here's a goal. Too easy. Why did we let you have that goal? Like, at least make it hard for them. Don't give them, like, like the goals that, you know, a two-year-old can make. No offense to any really good football-playing two-year-olds, you know. I didn't mean to imply that two-year-olds are bad at football. I'm sorry, guys. That was insensitive of me. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> guys, come on. All right, we're going to demand more right away. All right, we're getting a free kick. There's Lamptey over to Iglesias. Iglesias back to Ib Ibanez. Ibanez pushing the ball up. All the way back to the goalkeeper here. Conde up to Levi. Levi gets it over to Sambo. Sambo already on a yellow card. Not great to see. Sambo's going to get it taken away from him like... Like taking candy from a baby there. Come on, buddy. There's Sambo gets it back again. Don't do it again. Here we go. Up to Luca. That was a great pass. Over to Isik. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good stuff. You got it back, Sambo, and you you made made up for it. So thank you. Thank you, Sambo. Looks like Zebra's ahead of Atletico Madrid here. So we've gotten the away goal. We can allow one more goal, and that's it, guys. One more goal. That's all we can allow. Now, I don't want to give up another goal. Oh, Lamptey's injured. Uh, how's he? Is he bouncing back? Is affecting him. Can't We can't risk it. We've got to bring somebody in here. Um, we'll bring Livermento in here. Obviously, he can play exceptionally well over there as well. Cannot risk it. All right, throw in coming in from Sambo. Into Sancho. Sancho almost gets taken away from him. Moves around. Does get it tackled away from him. 
There's Davies over in the corner. Are we going to be able to do anything with this? Luca gets his foot in there. He gets it across. There's Isaac. I think it's offsides. No? Okay. Maybe maybe Luca himself, or sorry, maybe Isaac was playing Luca on sides. It was hard to tell because uh, as soon as I looked over, I couldn't couldn't really tell where they were exactly. Uh, no, he's behind, so he's good. No, I think he's ahead there, though. What? How's he on sides there? Did Luca get past him and pass it backwards? Is that what it was? It was hard to tell from that angle, to be honest, but I guess it counts. We'll take it. Come on, guys. Keep it up. All right. Looking really, really strong so far. Looking really strong so far. Come on. Don't give anything else up. Let's play some defense here. Five thousand seven hundred ninety-two of our fans came in for this. Wow, that's impressive. Livermento gets injured. What? What is going on with my guys on the left? No. No. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna bring. I guess Ibanez can play over there, thankfully, and we'll bring Kambula in here. <sighs> Sambo's exhausted too, though. I can't believe we've got both of our left backs injured right now. Well, who's, who's over there? What FC Byron player has been over there <laughs> beating up on my left backs? Oh, don't give him this easy one, guys. Come on. We've played well for 65 minutes. Only given up one. There we go. Ibanez. Come on. Gerard. There's Gerard. I haven't seen much of him today. He is only on 6.5. He's actually not played that well today. What is this? Oh, okay. It's an offsides. Would have been nice to keep that one. All right, there's Iglesias. Gerard now with the ball. Back over to Iglesias. Iglesias to Gerard. Isak. Exact same thing, except this time Isak was onside, I think, wasn't he? Or is that the one we just saw? That must have been the one we just saw. Okay, it looked exactly the same because it was exactly the same. And this one's going to be denied. So, yeah, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> we did it again? But he actually did look more onside that time, to be fair. Eh, okay, fair, whatever. We'll go with it, but it looked close. This sex pretty tired. Come on, guys. Guys are tired right now. Oh, don't give him that guy. Oof. Thankfully, he missed it for us. Um, I want to give it a couple minutes. I, I, I want to get somebody out of here, but I need to see who's going to get the most tired first. There's Levi over in the corner. Tries to get across. There's... Oh, Sambo. Wow. Good stuff, buddy. Okay, we'll take three away goes. I'm not complaining. Other than the injuries, this game has gone pretty well. Not super happy about the injuries, though, obviously. Uh, it, not, not so much that, you know, we got two injuries, which, you know, is obviously bad. Two injuries in the exact same position. That's, that's, that's the troubling part. I don't know who to get out here. Um, bring Iglesias out. He's in the middle. He's kind of anchoring down that midfield. Let's bring him out of there. He is pretty tired. I mean, Sambo is pretty tired too. But we'll get him out of here and we're going to bring we'll bring Kessie in. That's fine. He just came back from some, some play over in Africa. And although he did just also announce his retirement from international play. Come on, guys. Let's keep it like this. There we go. Gerard with the ball. Gets it up. Oh, couldn't get quite get it to Isak. Isak is pretty tired, to be fair. Come on, we don't need much here, guys. We just need to really just shut this down. In fact, I know we're in the middle of something that's usually not great. I'm going to actually go full-time wasting after this. No matter what this highlight is, I think we're going to go full-time wasting. Gerard! Ooh, barely. We are going to get another highlight, of course, because I turn on full-time wasting. We get another highlight. Isn't that how that works? There's Sambo, Sancho, Luca with the ball. Got a couple guys in the middle. There's Isak. Oh, couldn't get on that one. There's Cassie though. Back to Sancho. Oh, Sancho, buddy. Be a little, little more, a little more calm there, that buddy. You don't have to kick it into the stands. It's not a, it's not American football field goals. Ooh, Conde. Ooh, that was a little scary. Mount up to Luca. 
Over to Sancho. There's Gerard. Gerard over to Kessie. Over to Ibanez. We're really pushing up here. Passing the ball pretty well. All right. I mean, Ibanez, that's not really why you're here. You're not here to score goals, but I like the uh, the enthusiasm and the effort. Come on, guys. It's just a couple minutes. Don't give one up here. Oh, don't give that. Oh, give this one away. Oh, so close. Again, we didn't so much as prevent that one as they kind of did that one to themselves. Taking a two-goal lead into our stadium. Actually, three-goal lead, effectively, because we have the away goals. So, pretty even match. Otherwise, like, some of the stats looked pretty even. Uh, obviously, we got it on the scoreboard. Uh, we have starting to kind of let them get back in there towards the end of the game, to be fair. And I think that's part of it. But we, ha I felt like we controlled it up until then. Oh, Zebra lost. Oh. Not sure if I would have called that one. All right, how bad are these injuries? Oh, okay. Well, at least he'll be back for the next championship uh, league game because that's that's about a month away, isn't it? So that's okay. That's okay. And then Lamptey. Okay, he's out. he's not out very long. Is that a pair of goals? Thank you, buddy. All right, we'll be back for game number two, which is going to be the second leg of this, which is we're on the 25th, so it's almost a full month away. I mean, we do have the Carabao Cup final. I'm not really going to show you that, guys. I don't really care. Uh, if you guys care, I apologize. If we get to the FA Cup final, I might show that one. But Carabao Cup, I'm not going to show. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back for FC Bayern number two. All right, we are back for game number two. Although, actually, before we get into this, let's jump back for a second and look at the schedule. Um, first up, we won the Carabao Cup again. Yay! Or whatever. I mean, it's another trophy, but... <laughs> It's not that big of a deal. Uh, we then went up against QPR, beat them 7 to nothing in the FA Cup fifth round. We have three goals from Luca, a goal from Kessie, a goal from Sambo, and a pair of goals from O'Neill Murphy with a missed penalty thrown in there. Uh, I guess I should have shown the Carabao Cup as well. Uh, we got a goal from Gerard and a goal from Lamptey in that game. We went up against Leicester here and got four goals from Luca. He heard me talking about him being the fourth best striker we have. And he's like, uh, you want to bet? <laughs> so there he is. Uh, we then went up against West Brom. It got a goal from O'Neill Murphy, a goal from Vieira, a goal from Levi, a goal from Sampson, and an own goal for their team as well. So 5 nothing in game against West Brom. We rested a few guys um, leading into this game. Actually, we rested quite a few guys in, coming into this game. Uh, but today we're playing FC Bayern, of course. And not that much left, guys. Well, other than there's going to be hopefully more Champions Cup games, but not much left of the league. As far as the league is concerned, we're still in second place. Uh, starting to lose some of ground. Arsenal is really on a rampage right now. They're really playing very, very well right now. Very strong. Uh, in fact, they just beat, uh, where are they? Arsenal. They just beat uh, Feyenoord uh, 9 2 on aggregate. So they're looking pretty good. Um,. But let's see, PSG's already through, Inter's already through, Man United's already through, Hertha Berlin's already through, uh, Monaco beat Barcelona on penalty, so they're through, and of course Arsenal. So we're still waiting on the Madrid Zebra uh, matchup, which we'd probably hope for Atletico Madrid there. Uh, they're, they're, I think Zebra's a little bit more threatening overall. Uh, and then, of course, our matchup today. Let's get into this. Here's the team we're bringing today. We've got Conde in goal, Lamptey on the left, Sambo on the right, Ibanez and Levi in the central defender roles. Vieira comes alongside Mount in, in the midfield because uh, actually uh, Iglesias is currently suspended because of yellow cards. Sancho comes into this uh, uh, shadow striker role with Isak, Luca, and Gerard up front. Uh, let's go. If we could play even close to how we did last game, or last time we played these guys, I should say, we should be fine. This is a home game, so... In theory, we have a little bit of an edge. There's a lot of ground for them to make up as well. But, you know, strange things have happened. We're running a five-game win streak at the moment, which is really awesome. I got a little bit of a loss in there, but probably nothing too troublesome. I'm assuming they're still number one in the, in Germany right now. Come on, guys. Just really got to hold off. Just got to hold on defensively. We don't really need much on the outside of offensive. Although we do need offensive just to keep pressure on them, to be fair. Early highlight for FC Bayern. Although we get a takeaway from Levi. Tries to get it up. Unfortunately, not able to get it to one of our players. Uh, there's the goalkeeper for FC Bayern. Come on, guys. 
I appreciate the ref in the middle of the field wearing purple so we don't get confused. Gerard gets... Oh. Gerard. <laughs> what a pickup. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have some strikers, guys. We have some strikers. Even our fifth string striker, Samson, could start for half the teams in the Premier League probably right now. He's not bad at all. He's just gotten pushed down a bit. Sancho, over to... Oh, Luca was there. Not able to get that one in there, though. Another corner kick. Sancho again. Luca not able to get on that one either. They're defending him pretty well. There's Vieira, though, chasing that one down. Ooh, gets tripped up big time there. Come on, guys. FC Byron looking pretty good right now. Moving the ball around, passing the ball around really good. There's Davies getting past the defense. We'll close him down, but we, he's got a couple guys in the middle right now. There's Yeah, there's Musla. Oh, good. Good deflection there. Still live for, uh, for FC Byron, though. And it is going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be FC Byron ball throw in here. Does the highlight continue? It does. Come on, guys. Ooh, good save. Good save. Uh, looks like Zebra uh, got one back on Atletico Madrid right now, so we will see how that one plays out. I think they need two, don't they? Isn't Atletico Madrid up three to one? I think. So far, the boys looking good, though. Levi over to Vieira. Vieira to back to Mount. Mount back to Vieira. Up to Luca. Luca to Mount. Up to Vieira. There's Sancho Beth the ball. Up to Sambo. Sam was going to go for a goal, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not going to slow up a little bit. Gets it across. There's Isak. Oh, easy go for Isak. Easy go for Isak. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the momentum. There's still some really tough teams left in this. And honestly, one of the toughest teams left in this is Arsenal, right? I mean, Arsenal is ridiculously strong. At least right now. I don't know what it is about Arsenal. Do they, do they still have a Jurgen Klopp? We'll have to check here in a second. But, um, I mean, it's like he, he struggles early on and then he just comes roaring back, you know, towards the end of the season, just, just looking dominant towards the end of the season. Come on, guys. FC Byron's actually got a higher XG right now. So they're putting the pressure on. Oh, we got an injury. I did not see that one. I didn't even see it. Did it hopefully it just happened because I did not see that pop up. I mean, he wants to stay in. Obviously, he wants to stay in, but that's not going to happen, buddy. Uh, we'll bring Livermento in here. I can't believe... What is it with our... Who is it? Like, literally. What is... Which other players is over there? Who would it be? It would be... It would be Sanchek here, right? No, no. It would be the guy on the right. Akumak or whatever his name is. Be this guy right here, probably. I mean, what is going on? It's like they're intentionally targeting my my defenders. Like, how do you have three injuries on the left back? You know, in two games against the exact same team. Sambo is really tired right now. We probably do need to get him out of here, but we don't have anybody else to come in for him. Um, I guess we're gonna move Levi over. It's not sure if that's the most ideal play. We don't have a lot of other options. I'd rather keep the defense fresh than anything right now. I mean, four goals is a lot of goals to make up, so I'm not super concerned. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a little bit of time wasting. Just just kind of extend the game a bit. Just try, try not to... Or sorry, not, not, not to extend the game. Try to shorten the game a bit is what I'm trying to say. So that way we can hopefully prevent some injuries, prevent some fatigue, stuff like that. The air is pretty tired. we got to get Vieira out of there. Don't have a lot of players that we can bring in, but we find somebody. There's Vieira, in fact. Ibanez, Kumbula, Levi with the ball. Call it back to Conde. That's the other thing about uh, Newcastle. Their best striker for, or, or, sorry, their best goalkeeper for the future probably isn't Conde. It's the guy, uh, Ibahara, or whatever his name is, that we sent over to, he's on loan right now. I mean, he's 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 going to be an incredibly good goalkeeper at some point, I think. 
they've got some really good youngsters that they can either sell on or, or whatever. And uh, I think financially they're going to be okay. If I wasn't pushing for Champions League this year, in fact, actually, they will be. Because if I wasn't pushing for Champions League right now, then I could have played a lot safer with the transfers that I did. Still been relatively successful in the league and stuff like that. Um, and we would have been fine financially. So I think they're going to be okay. All right, we got to get Vieira out of there. He's on a yellow card and he's a bit tired. Um, now we're on. We'll get from Cassie in here. Why not? What, they scored the first one, right? FC Bayern scored the very first one, and then we've scored six straight so far. Oh, they're about to get one here, aren't they? Oh, I thought, we, they, I thought that they had that one. Good defense there, but still a live ball for them. They're playing better today. Statistically, they're playing better today. <laughs> they're not getting scores, but they're playing pretty good today. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, there you go, guys. We're still alive in the Champions League. Oh, still some really, really tough teams ahead of us, though. Good. Lampy's only out for a couple days. Got 8.2 million. We needed that. We needed that. Because we're kind of in the hole right now. <laughs> we're still in the hole. That's all right. Um, I'm actually going to put a quick pause in here. We'll be right back here in about two days to see the draws. All right. Here we go, guys. Here are the draws. Now, as far as who do I want to play, I mean, we got to play some tough teams anyway, right? The only, like, teams that are relatively easy would be AS Monaco and Hertha Berlin at the moment. Because obviously we've beaten AS Monaco twice. And then Hertha Berlin, I think they're the weakest of the other ones that are left here. Um, but we've got to get through some of these tougher teams at some point, right? I'm kind of hoping we don't have to play the tough English teams because we, we play them all the time. So I'd like to, if I'm going to lose against a tough team, I'd rather be a team from another country that we haven't played before. So we'll see. <sighs> don't be us, please. Okay, Atletico Madrid. So at least Arsenal's off the table. One, one down. I wouldn't mind this one. Oh my goodness. Why does Hertha Berlin keep getting the other relatively easy teams? Really? Really? I mean, I think of the ones that are left, we would most want Inter. Don't give us Man United. Not now. Not now. Oh my goodness. Why do we have to go out against our own... I mean, it is what it is, but... Uh, well, pooey. I mean, we've beaten them. We know we can beat them. I don't know that we're going to beat them again, but we can beat them. All right, let's do the next draw. Um... Um, do we want this matchup? No, we want the Earth or Berlin AS Monaco matchup. So we want Arsenal Madrid to get this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Watch the Earth or Berlin make it all the way to the very end. Um, obviously we're going to get Arsenal Madrid, which means we're probably going to get Arsenal. Arsenal's on fire right now. Are we going to have to run the gauntlet through Man United and Arsenal again? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> and then the final one. No, it's not as good as that is the final one, right? There shouldn't be another one. Yeah, because we know what we're going to play the winner of the other side. So that should be it. Um, I cannot believe we got Man United. Oh, well. I mean, it is what it is. How far are we supposed to go with this? We're expected to reach the quarterfinal, which we are in the quarterfinal. So we at least made it to the quarterfinal. Uh, and these games are coming up here pretty quickly. So we'll definitely be showing those. I mean, we can beat them. But they can also destroy us. <laughs> I mean, if you look at our... Well, if you look at the three games. I don't, I don't know how much they played this game. 4-2 plus uh, 0 to 6. So that'd be 4 to 8. And then we beat them 2 to 1. So... Um, 6 to six to 9. So they've, they've got the edge on us overall. Just because of that 6 nothing stomping. 
Oh, well, well, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time for Manchester United. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.